Welcome to the Farm Chief TV, the Farmers TV Station. How are you? How are you doing? Are you good? Um, what did you plant? Did you plant anything in your garden? Hope you are good, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dipato Katelega, the Farm Chief here at the Farm Chief College. Uh, as you all know, that uh, here at the Farm Chief, we only talk about farming. You shouldn't expect any other thing except farming. So I'm here still to talk about farming. How can we gain from farming? How can we do uh, farming? How can we start different star projects in farming? And everything as far as farming is, go, is concerned. Thank you for those who subscribed. Uh, thank you so much. I always get people from uh, US, I always get people from UK, I always get people from Botswana, from different areas of the world. You always consult me and thank you so much. And those who have consulted, I think you have gained. Those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and don't hesitate to click on that notification bell. You'll be notified that we have uploaded something new. And today we are going to talk about the important objectives of mulching in agriculture agriculture it is wide the word agriculture it is wide uh, because you can do agriculture when you're doing a tomato plantation as you've been already seeing you can do agriculture when you've been planting uh, watermelon i've already talked about watermelon uh, you can do agriculture when you're planting uh, maybe avocado, jackfruit, and everything. So today we're going to talk about the importance, the important objectives of mulching in agriculture. And for us here, we are in our banana plantation. So today we're going to talk about that. The important, the important, the important objectives of mulching in agriculture or in farming. My name is Dipatuka Terega the farm chief well first of all what is mulching we have two definitions i'm going to explain today one mulching and mulch <laughs> there is mulching and mulch you can't do mulching without uh when you don't having the mulch all mulches First of all, what is a mulch? Because mulches, those are the ones that help us in mulching. Mulching is an action, is an act. So you can't do that action when you don't have the ma, the mulches, a mulch. But mulching is an action of laying or putting the organic materials on the soil surface is the action of laying or putting the organic materials on the soil surface as you can see the way you see how we, we are doing this so that is mulching the putting or the action of putting organic materials on the soil surface like here we mulch these are the organic materials we put on the soil surface that is this is mulching The action of laying or putting the organic materials on the soil surface. Then what is a mulch or the mulches? A mulch is an organic material that is used to cover the soils to contain or to protect the soil moisture, protect the soil from erosion, to protect the soil structures and everything as far as soil is concerned. So that is a mulch, an organic material. Organic material, uh, those are uh, tree leaves, 
uh, those are grasses, uh, the maize stovers, you can get the timber chips, all those are organic materials can help us in mulching. But I told you we're talking about the important objectives of mulching in farming or in agriculture. One, we have moisture conservation. Two, we have temperature control. Three, reduction of runoff and erosion. Number four, improvement in soil structure and weed control. And the number five is prevention of all, all prevention in surface compaction. I'm going to start with prevention of surface consumption. When you all look here, this is the place where we had mulched before. This is the my camera person showing you. What do we mean that prevention of surface compaction? See? The soil is not compact. Hmm? The soil is not compact. It wasn't compacted. You see how the soil is. This is the importance. I'm, I think my camera person is showing you. See? When you mulch, are you seeing these roots? Show them, please. Are you seeing these roots? Why are they moving? These roots, they belong to our banana plant, banana plants, as you're seeing. But there is, is a penetration of these roots because the soil surface is not compacted. The soil is not pressed. The soil is not in block format. The soil, part, well, the soil particles are free. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So when you mulch, all your garden can be like this. This helps our plants in easy penetration, uh, easy aeration. There is easy penetration of roots when the soil is not compacted. So when we mulch, uh, we prevent uh, soil surface compaction. This is how it is done. We had already mulched here, though we are still putting on other mulches to keep our soil good. That is one. I think you have seen it. That is one of the objectives why we do mulching in agriculture. I have done. I'm done with that. Then number two, that is soil. I mean, that is uh, moisture conservation. We conserve moisture. How? Moisture in soil, that is water. But the water which is unseen, you can't see that water the way you see uh, like liver waters, like uh, lake waters, like the tap waters. You can't see the, those waters in soil, but there is water that is moisture. Conservation of moisture in the soil. How? My camera personnel is going to show you still. When you mulch, still we mulch here very properly. Starting from here, maybe this guy is showing you properly. You see, at the top of these mulches, they are dry. Give me a close up. They are dry. But when you start opening them, you see, you see how you started to find the moisture? You see? You see how you have started to find the soil? When you look at them up, beneath them, you will start finding mm, the waters. These waters are not... <laughs> the waters are not seen by our eyes, but there is water. I think you can see. You see when the... Uh, the insects, some of the kata, whatever, they are inside here. So this water, is, this uh, soil is full of water. It's moisturized. It has its own waters. 
you can even penetrate your finger inside and get there. Can you please, my camera person, show them this? You see, it is even easier for you to penetrate your finger into the soil because there is water. What helps us? I want to show you where the, where the place is not mulched. Maybe that's when you will understand what I'm trying to tell you about moisturizing. There is a place here which is not mulched. Uh, actually, even here, you see, the place in which is not moisturized, you see, mm. you can't even penetrate even one inch into the soil. So that means there is no, uh, there is no moisture. We did not conserve water in this soil. Thank you so much for watching the farm chief if i've not yet subscribed please subscribe and don't hesitate to click on that notification bell my name is dipatoka telega the farm chief here at the farm chief college that was number two then there is reduction of runoff and erosion you all know what is soil erosion the, the running of top soil from the soils this affects us that storage takes all the fertility of the soils because all the fertile soils, they are always in the top of the soil. So when it rains and takes all that fertility, we might end up having no fertile soils because of erosion. And runoff, uh, that means the water doesn't enter in the soils, doesn't enter properly in our soil because the, all the waters, when it rains, when you, uh, uh, you irrigate, that waters they just run off the soil. Those soils, they can't, they don't have that easy penetration of waters inside them. That is soil runoff and uh, erosion. So this mulching, when we mulch, as you see, actually, as you see there, where we have started even mulching again, it is not easy for the waters to take our soil. It is not easy for the waters to make gullies. Hmm? inside our banana plantation. Those are three. I want to take you number four. Prevention of weeds. And prevention of weeds. If you look properly, there are no weeds in our banana plantation. So mulching can prevent them. And you should remember that weeds, they compete with our plants for nutrients, water, light, and everything. So that means it's not always good to have weeds in your garden. So we have to prevent the weeds in our, so I mean, in our garden. That is number four. And number five, my dear friends, I want to remind you, you talked about reduction of runoff. And so, also, you've talked about uh, soil moisture, and I've showed you how it does. Uh, we have talked about uh, moisture conservation, that was number three, and number four has been prevention of weeds. That was number four, and number five is no, 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 uh, improvement. Number five, it was prevention of weeds and improve, improvement on soil fertility. So when these things decompose, when all these organic materials that we used in mulching, when they decompose, they become fertilizers. When they decompose, they, de they become fertilizers. So, you're improving on the fertility of the soil when you mulch, basically, when you use the organic materials. And those are grasses, tree leaves, uh, the, 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 uh, the timber chips, and everything. When you use it, them, that means, of course, automatically, you're improving on your soil fertility. Hence, gaining good profits, all good yields. Then lastly, uh, we were talking about the improvement, then there is prevention of soil surface 
compaction. The soil is not compacted. The soil is not in a block formative. The soils, it is easier for them water to penetrate such that the busy plants of ours can easily utilize the nutrients in the soils, can easily use the waters in the soil and everything as far as their life is concerned. Thank you for watching the Farm Chief. Hope you have gained something today. Uh, my name is Dipatoka Telega, the Farm Chief. Uh, we talked about the most important objectives of mulchy in tomato, I mean, uh, in agriculture. I don't know why I always speak about tomatoes. So those have been uh, the most, actually they've been five. Uh, for those who, have not, who are not remembering, I'd like to remind about them about you. Uh, that is moisture conservation, one. We have temperature control. Temperature control. You know, when that heat from sunshine just hits the soil directly, that means it evaporates all the waters in the soil. Hence, increasing only heat and high temperatures in our soils, which will reduce on the amount of water that these plants use. So temperature control was number two. Uh, number three was reduction uh, of runoff and erosion. I talked about that. You all know soil erosion. That is the running over uh, 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 of uh, our top soils from the garden when it is raining. Uh, number four was uh, improvement on weeds control and soil fertility and number five was uh i've talked about the reduction number five was uh, uh was 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 a uh, was a uh, was a prevention of uh, soil surface compaction thank you so much for watching us uh, that has been our lesson today for those who have started thank you so much you keep on doing farming my friends will never regret big up